Okay, this video goes over how to load data into Excel. I mean, from Excel into R. And you need to have Excel up and running and also have the worksheet that you want where you want to grab the data needs to be active. Uh, there's other ways to get data into R. Uh, this is the easiest for me. So this is the uh, data file that we used last week, classification data file. And these are the worksheets. And so I've got this worksheet active lasagna too. That's the one that we, we want to bring in. And we're going to try to predict if people are going to try this lasagna as a function of these. The other thing I think you should do is that these variables become important. So I don't like having spaces. So even though it's a little bit tedious, I'm going to go get rid of the spaces between anywhere in these because these become variable names. I don't know if it'll work actually if you do it that way, but you probably will. Okay, so these now are uh, no spaces. These are my variable names. I've got this data file. So when I go to R, what I'm going to do, this, this is the code that I'm going to write. First thing is that you need to uh, uh, make the package desk tools active. So library desk tools. After you do this, then you've got to create a data frame. This is just a variable that will hold your data. So you can use all kinds of things. I'm going to say this is my data. You can call it whatever you want. And then what you're going to do is assign to that by using the left, uh, less than, and then a dash, which is assigning whatever we're going to do. And now it's Excel. What we're going to do is copy in Excel, get range, header equal true. Excel, get range, and notice it's case sensitive. So we have uppercase, or we have uppercase, and then header equals true and that tells you that the very first row is a header and you cross your fingers and hit hit enter it takes a while but it it it, it grabbed it now if you want to see what what it is if you just now say my data and hit enter it'll list everything so this becomes your data file that's, that's my data. And you can see these are your headers, so now we've brought it in. You can also use this command head my data, and it just gives you the first six rows. Okay, that's how you can know if you're, uh, that's how you read data into, uh, from Excel into R.